Dead. Subject one is in a state of confusion, yet he isn't concerned with his cognitional problems. Okay, let's take the future. Let's just say in about 10, 20 years time, you're so connected with the inner you that it have its own bank account, library card, the whole works. Worse still, if you make a mistake in this life, then you can sue yourself. Right, okay. What? The left side of your brain is in charge of creativity. So let's just say you become a full-time junkie. I suppose one of those part-time slacker junkies. Look, just listen. You're a junkie, but you're getting acceptance to an art college. Now, you being a junkie is not going to help you achieve or become something great, is it? You are Peter? It's ten o'clock in the morning. Sorry? No thanks. The inner you thinks that this is a wasted opportunity, that it's wasting its time, thus its existence. It wants to help you, but you're a slave to the drug. So it sues you for five million pounds and inner self-damage claims. It's a hideous image, I know, but it could be worse. Your inner you may think it's time to shine, thus devouring you completely. Then you become the inner you. You haven't taken anything today, have you? Just the tea. It wasn't the tea, Mark. Bad mojo, was it? Maybe.